A man put to death despite calls from both his family and the murder victim's daughter for DNA to be tested again. Ray Cromarty, he was executed last night in Jackson, but it did not stop our 11 Alive viewers from asking, why not just test the DNA? 11 Alive's Elwin Lopez set out to get some answers for you tonight. Elwin? Yeah, that's right, Jeff. His attorney pushed for new DNA testing, but last month the judge said it was unlikely it would lead to a different verdict. And Georgia's Supreme Court ultimately declined to hear an appeal. Many of you wondering, how is it possible that the state could come to this conclusion? I spoke to 11 Alive legal analyst Latonya Hines, who explains. He made no statement, but requested a prayer be recited last night just before his execution at the state prison in Jackson. 52-year-old Ray Jefferson Cromartie was sentenced to die for shooting and killing store clerk Richard Slice in 1994 during a robbery in South Georgia. Cromartie insisted he didn't pull the trigger and argued DNA testing could prove it, but he didn't deny being at the store during the robbery. Last month, a judge ruled that it was unlikely DNA testing would have led to a different verdict. 11 Alive legal analyst Latonya Hines says that's because he was convicted of malice murder. You are being held at the same type of standard because you were a party to this entire crime and so that you can be held to the same charges as the person who pulled the trigger. Malice murder carries a maximum sentence of death or life in prison without the possibility of parole. But Cromartie's attorney says he was sentenced to death on the court's belief that he shot the clerk. They argue, quote, if he was not the shooter, his death sentence is not valid. The getaway driver in the robbery, Thad Lucas, and another accomplice, Corey Clark, pled guilty to lesser charges and testified against Cromartie. A few days ago, Lucas, who is also Cromartie's half-brother, claims Clark once confessed to shooting Slice. Cromartie's attorney asked the U.S. Supreme Court to give him time for the new DNA testing. But last night's execution was carried out after the U.S. Supreme Court rejected two appeals without explanation. People feel it should be tested, but all the legal arguments for it have failed for purposes of it happening. And even the murder victim's daughter asked for the DNA to be tested here. Cromartie's brother told me he will find a way to test that DNA even now that his brother is gone. Coming up at 6, we will tell you how many inmates have been exonerated after DNA testing.